Greetings everyone, Bob Knack here with the Deer Management Assistance Program. I'm here in Columbia County today with wildlife technician Brady Green. And Brady and his co-workers here have been planting apple trees on public lands uh, to provide wildlife habitat, but also to provide important hunting opportunities for our customers. And so Brady, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the work you've been doing. So in Columbia County, we planted five small plots of a total of 85 trees. Um, we planted Fuji, Enterprise, Lodi, and also crab apple trees. Great, so a wide variety of trees that are going to be scattered on the public lands here. And next, Brady's going to take us through the, some of the equipment you're going to need to do this yourself. So you're going to need four fence posts, um, a length of about 14 foot of welded wire that's five foot high, a shovel. Today we have a Lodi apple tree that's bare root. You'll need a two by two cut into roughly a four foot section, a piece of baler twine, and a chunk of two foot by 18 inch um, chicken wire, some zip ties, a uh, post pounder, and maybe a maul. So the next steps in planting this apple tree is to dig your hole. And it's important with these bare root trees, you wanna dig your hole so that the roots are naturally growing when you get it in the ground. So as you can see here, we dug kind of an oblong hole to accommodate our roots. And then you want to make sure that's deep enough and you can kind of tell on the tree where it was buried at when it was started. It's right in this area somewhere here. So we dug our hole, got our roots, and they're going to lay in there fairly natural. Next step is to fill in the hole. We got our 2x2 two two support rod here. We're going to pound that into the ground. And then we will tie it together with this baler twine. You want to wrap that loosely around the trunk of the tree so when it grows, the support line will just enable that tree to grow and the trunk to expand. Then we have this bowl wire here. This is to keep the voles away from the trunk of this tree because they will come in here and chew on that bark and strip it and actually kill the tree. So then we'll wrap this around connect it to our support pole with the zip ties and you want to bury this in the ground about two three inches so the voles can't get underneath it. So here we have our finished product and Brady wanted to share a few more thoughts with you. A couple key notes is that when you're putting the dirt on the tree you want to pack that dirt in as well as possible to get rid of all the spaces. If there's any spaces by those roots there's going to be a fungus that grows and it's going to kill your tree. So then you also want to water it when you get done planting it. And then coming back in the next, or the first year or second year, when the tree blossoms out, you actually want to come back and pick those off so the tree will grow up and out and get stronger rather than put a fruit on. And then for these cages, you're going to want to leave this on for like eight to 10 years until this tree gets mature enough where it can withstand a deer doing some damage to it. So there you go. Thanks, Brady. You've heard from one of our wildlife experts here. We hope you learned something today. And thank you for your interest in the Deer Management Assistance Program.